This is Luke Kinetic, and you're in the arena with leaders and citizens who take character-based action. In the Arena is a proud member of the Democracy Group Podcast Network. For more information, visit democracygroup.org. A real privilege to be uh, in the arena with uh, Ilsa Van Kelly from Latvia. I assume we're ta- speaking to you uh, from, from Riga. Um, she was with the McCain Institute. She's still a next generation leader, but she is the health minister of Latvia at the moment and has a heck of a job on her hand and has kindly taken uh, a few minutes to spend some time with us to, to tell us how she's doing and about the situation and how she's leading in, in, in Latvia. So Ilsa, I'd like to start right there. I have a few questions about Latvia, but, but, uh, uh, but, but tell me, how, how's it going? Actually, we are, we are doing very well. And uh, of course, uh, we try to do what uh, whole, you know, uh, universe are doing now. We try to stop uh, and slow down the, uh, the the new coronavirus uh, spread around Latvia. So, and uh, we have to take uh, uh, the measures to protect our uh, nation from uh, this uh, unknown or uh disease so that's usually my everyday work uh since uh the january i mean you've been health minister and active as a health minister for i guess a couple of years now and implementing a number of uh of reforms um you know i'm just trying to make sure i i'm up to date on latvia around two million people in latvia um you had your first coronavirus uh, fatality in early April, if I'm not mistaken. And Latvia is about the same size as Nebraska. Nebraska has around 2,000 cases and uh, 46 uh, fatalities uh, now. But do you think you've seen the kind of first wave? And, 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 and I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, I have to correct you, I'm just a uh, uh, little bit more than one year in my position. So, and uh, Latvia is, uh, uh, Latvia's population is 1.9 million. So, so okay, I went uh, far off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, and um, uh, our mortality right now is uh, 12 people today. Uh, and I think that is a, uh, that is a very, of course, all those 12 people are tragedy for the yes. families and uh, my condolences, uh, but uh, still, if we compare uh, those numbers with other uh, uh, European countries, we are doing uh, quite well. And, you know, I know you, you, the party you founded and the job you, you took, I know you're not worried about the politics and parties and things like that, but, but access to health care was a, a, a really big part of that and, and science and, and, you know, that's been part of your leadership all along. Uh, how has that helped? Has that helped you in the approach or? Mm-hmm. By my training, I'm, um, uh, I have a master's degree in public health and that's really helped. That, that situation so and uh, my uh, uh, my leading principle to to lead in this situation uh, I really trust in expertise of uh, uh, science scientists uh, uh, of uh, epidemiologists uh, and uh, uh, I uh, uh, convinced my colleagues in cabinet that we, cabinet of ministers, the government of Latvia, that uh, uh, first uh, we listen for advice from the side of experts, and just after that we will made uh, uh, politically based decisions. So, and uh, it's turned out that uh, this approach uh, is uh, quite successful till now. I, um, you know, Latvia, uh, I think of it as a a hardy people, um, a hardy country, but in terms of uh, health, if I have it right, strokes and and, and kind of heart attacks and things like that, it's it's not, you know, it's not a population that's just 100% healthy, right? You're not start. I'm coming at it kind of from a funny way. You can be, you can be not such a, a delicate in the <laughs> describing Latvian situation uh, in in healthcare. Yeah, we are 
for decades uh, underfinanced and that is a, a shame actually from the side of uh, politicians that uh, we uh, we don't spend enough public money for uh, uh, health uh, but um, uh, it's a par it's a paradox that uh, uh, taking account that uh, our healthcare system system are heavily underfinanced uh, uh, we still can perform uh, at a quite uh, a uh, good level now in uh, this time of uh, corona crisis and uh, one explanation is that our medical professionals are highly qualified and uh, actually they are doing like a mis missionary work so and i think that uh, uh, that is a key uh, key uh, factor for uh, our success so um you know all the questions you must be getting from somebody the ppe and the logistics and and how you look after and protect the healthcare workers um you know you're part of the the eu i'm struck you know you, you've only had as a country a health ministry i believe since 2003 right uh so is how is all that uh, working it must be a tremendous challenge uh, yeah, that is a very precise description, tremendous challenge, uh, uh, because uh, again, back to uh, uh, underfinanced uh, health system, uh, of course, uh, we, we, we weren't ready to, to stock uh, appropriate amount of, uh, of PPE, and uh, uh, we also now, as the uh, many other countries are on the race to to catch on the market uh, those uh, supplies and um, and um, uh, provide and equip uh, our medical staff uh, and there is a uh, you cannot imagine that the crisis um, uh, crisis showed the the brightest side of uh, people and the darkest also at the same time and uh, if you, uh, you I used to believe that maybe at the, such a heavy, heavy times for the whole world, maybe the, you know those uh, uh, those people who try to catch the possibility and make mm -hmm. money. I can describe the dirty money on uh, those supplies for people who who are in need. Unfortunately, uh, uh, don't stop. Uh, quite mm. opposite uh, and uh, one part of my job is uh, to organize and to find those uh, uh, trustable suppliers who can provide uh, uh, our medical staff and uh, and also a population with uh, PPE so and uh, that is a uh, quite a challenge so well, I, I feel like I'm monopolizing your time, but I do want to ask a, f a few more questions before we let you uh, 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 get back to it. And I want to hear how you're doing personally. But before that, y you say you, you think, you know, you have the first wave and, 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 and you, you kind of see the obstacles. You've worked through a lot of obstacles. How are you approaching the, the, the way ahead or, or path to recovery or however you choose to think about it? Uh, actually, we now are um, preparing ourselves to uh, live with this uh, new disease as a chronic disease. Uh, uh, you can, you cannot uh, battle. You can just, uh, you know, like to adjust uh, our lives uh, for new normal. And uh, <clears throat> that's, uh, yeah, that is. Um, again very challenging because uh, we have to plan uh, very precisely in the unknown situation then we should uh, uh, you know the lessen those uh, restrictions uh, at quarantine time so when we can allow when will be the right moment when we allow mm -hmm. to gathering bigger um, public events uh, and uh, uh, if uh, yes, then in which size, which people we will allow to 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 be at the same time together. So, 
And there is no textbook you can look uh, for answers. We have to create our own solution, taking account, uh, uh, you know, our uh, special, uh, uh, specific cultural uh, background. So, and uh, that is a time when uh, I think the decision making makers and and, and leaders. Uh, uh, can survive just cooperating if they cooperate and just uh, uh, they exchange uh, information and approaches and experiences. So, and in that that uh, sense, uh, of course, uh, the privilege to be part of uh, McCain family is uh, extremely helpful. So, well, I do want to ask about that, but but. You know, it sounds like you've really put together a, a very strong and good ministry team. How are you looking after them and how are you looking after yourself? I mean, the days have to be long. I cherish my, uh, my, my team. So, and I try to, I try to, um, you know, to, we divide, I um, try to, enable that is the right word to 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 so can you can you um cut out some uh some, some? I, I can but you're you're saying fine but it's just kind of how you work with your ministry and how you uh, and how you're looking at your after yourself yeah i'm looking for right word uh, to describe how i uh how kind of empower I, and enable uh enable, yeah enable yeah. actually yeah. enable and i enable my team uh, and i uh empower them actually because uh it's uh clear that uh there is no time for uh uh, you know the 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 leader who are alone and who take you know all decisions on his own. It's not top uh, top down uh, leadership time. It's uh, really really about cooperation, about involving every member of the team with his or her unique expertise and uh, and uh, approach. So and uh, uh, at that time it, I, I lead horizontally so and i think that is the right approach now uh, speaking about myself um, i think i have a good genes so <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i have a high level of endurance and uh, yeah i definitely understand that that is a marathon not a sprint so and mm. uh, and uh, physical activities um uh, um good reading uh, time uh, out outside that is my uh, formula for uh, surviving in the time it sounds like a pretty good formula um are you hearing from people in the united states i'm sure you're hearing people from the the the, the e e e eu um um kind of how are you how are you seeing things there um we have a very good cooperation uh, uh, with our Baltic colleagues, so on everyday basis. Uh, but um, uh, if you ask me about um, European Union as a project, uh, that uh, at this situation, at this kind of crisis, there is some, you know, flaw in this whole. Uh, union because uh, uh, somehow the idea to be together are, ch are, are challenged now and um, one I think what is uh, absolutely against the, the, the value the core values of the European Union how countries decided to to close the borders you know that is like a end of the end of the the, the age because uh, the free movement was core value for uh, European Union and suddenly on one day on one day the borders were just borders were just closed and that is a uh, shocking of course for the European Union but I hope that we will survive this uh, we will we'll, we'll, we will manage how to how to reopen again more uh, 
uh, more in, in more joint actions, more joint actions. Uh, I, you, won't, you know, won't surprise, it won't surprise you at the McCain Institute, and particularly with our, our new boss, Ambassador Green, coming from USCID, you know, very interested in how we can can help and the global response, but the sort of cooperation that, that just has to happen. It, it is happening in instances in the United States, you see governors getting together, um, but you, you know, we all this sense and know this has to be a coordinated uh, 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 re response. Well, you've been, you've been very, very uh, generous uh, with your time. I really uh, appreciate it. We're a hundred percent uh, rooting for you. Uh, anything you would uh, you would li like to add? I, I I think you know people around the world could see this, but it'll probably primarily be uh, be an American audience. Anything you would like to like to add? My heart is uh, going for you. So and uh, I uh, I feel the situation uh, uh, in states very personally because I consider the state like my second home. Just uh, of course I. Uh, was there just for one year, but uh, I feel very close to you and I, I wish uh, all the best and, uh, and uh, I believe in, uh, in, in, in ability of the, one of the greatest nation on the world to, 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 to manage this situation. So, and uh, yeah, and I miss traveling and one of the mm. first uh, destination uh, when hopefully world again reopen definitely will be dc and uh, i miss all you in the mccain institute so and that was and it will be one of my first uh, trip so well also we're, we're we're proud of you and we look forward to that and you know i'm just so humble when you think about someone who is uh, being in the arena as a as a leader we we, we really really uh, appreciate your time um keep it up this podcast is produced by Patrick McCann and Justin Kessler. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, tell your friends, or leave a review.